subscribe to our YouTube channel for the latest updates. All right, well, welcome to the latest update on Tropical Storm Eloise here. It is currently at 18.6 degrees south, 39.1 degrees east, uh, and this is as of 5 a.m. Central African time. You can see here it's looking pretty good on latest satellite imagery, starting to have an eye feature really come out. This is getting really close to cyclone status. Winds of 70 miles per hour, 115 kilometers per hour, pressure of 990 millibars, and it's a stage five on the CDPS scale as it approaches Mozambique. Well, let's take a look at that CDPS breakdown. Uh, wind speeds are significant to major. Leaning towards significant rainfall potential is major. Storm size moderate to significant in the overall threat to land is significant. This is for Bira. And again, this is a stage five, meaning devastating damage is possible for Bira in areas around that. Impacts are expected to occur around Saturday evening. Well, here's the storm's wind field, and it's clear here, 110 nautical miles there to the northeast, 95 to the southeast, 90 to the southwest, and 105 to the northwest. Here are the distances from different locations. From Pibane, we're about 90 miles away. From Schneid, uh, we're about 150 miles away. From Bira, 271 miles away. That's ground zero for those big impacts. From Villanculos, we're about 333 miles away. And from Mexique, we're about 432 miles away. The storm's gonna be pretty dangerous as it does move towards land. And again, a lot of these areas, all of them are going to experience impacts of some sort, anything from strong winds to heavy rainfall to uh, even some high surf, all going to be possibilities with this system. Let's take a look at how we got this intensity estimation. ASCAT showing around 60 miles an hour. There was an argument for 65. This was a, a fair bit earlier today. ATCF, RAMS multi-platform stuff. GCOM1, another scatterometer. Mateo France, the RSMC of the region, and Force 13 all going with 70 miles an hour right now. Here's the JTWC cone. You can see here it's expected to peak at 75 knots. Uh, that basically means that the storm is going to be peaking with a wind speed of 85 miles per hour, a mid-range category one on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. It's gonna be hitting Bureau around Saturday evening. That is seen clearly on this graphic, and there is a good chance that it will actually peak stronger in between those two points of 85 miles per hour. Let's take a look at sea surface temperatures. Those are extremely warm for the system right now. 30 to 31 degrees Celsius. Those are not going to be a problem for this at all as it approaches land. Some significant strengthening is still possible. And again, we are expecting significant strengthening. A category one cyclone is expected to come out of this in short order. Well, here's the wind swath from the H wharf. This is a very aggressive wind swath. We're expecting it to be a fair bit weaker than this. I'd say a category two landfall is a theoretical max. And then you can see there as well, um, those 16 to 24 inch rainfall totals in the oranges. Let's take a look at the multi-model diagnostic plot. You can see there the uh, peak really from all models around 70, 75, maybe 85 miles per hour on the highest end. Deep layer shear is expected to remain quite low over the next little while. And then as we do head out, you can see the track is pretty tightly uh, packed there as this heads towards Bira. Sea surface temperatures are going to be nice and warm and mid-level relative humidity is only going up from here up until landfall. Here's a satellite imagery. An eye feature has really started to become apparent as of recently. The storm is really becoming more organized. It is a worrying thing to see, to say the least. It is a clear piece of evidence that the storm is strengthening with time. We're about to take a look at the infrared view, and the infrared view shows some more things. Very high cloud tops as of late. We even have a small burst of minus 90s there on the northern side, which is basically clearly showing that this is trying to develop an eye wall of sorts. That eye feature is really starting to become more robust, and I think we're about to see a full ring of minus 70s really come up here. 